If you are not of legal age, please leave now. We're sitting down, we're getting ready to do this unfiltered. So we just, when we got our subjects all, all well, loosening up, loosening up, getting our minds right. You gotta get in front of that camera and say, hi, hello there world. Would you like to be my neighbor? Webcam porn. <laughs> is this what this is? This is not a webcam porn. Just informational video about views and thoughts of cool ass people. People you want to fucking hang out with. <laughs> well, I don't know. You said webcam porn. This is not webcam porn, Sarah. I don't care how much experience you have with this. I didn't say it was. What are you talking about? <laughs> It's funny because when we got out of the car, the neighbors were out there, and I said, oh, we got a, a fucking tripod, too. And I feel like they thought we were... You know, you know what I thought was funny? Uh, it was like, hmm, Sarah has different guys come over to her Oh, place. my God, yeah. And her neighbors obviously know she's single. They're like, that fucking tramp. Yeah, I have nothing but guys. She's just having it's guys horrible. come over and doing them, I swear. Underwear. Why do you have thunderwear on everything? It makes me smile every time. Every time. If you're ever in a bad mood, just say thunderwear and what'll happen? What? Will it be a zombie smile? Give the camera a zombie smile. smile. Give the camera a zombie smile. Okay. This will be famous. <laughs> Someday. Someday. I actually, I seen somebody on my Facebook that like isn't really a friend, just an acquaintance, and he was doing the zombie smile. I was like, I well, know. it's a unique trait that I mean, not everyone can fucking do. I know, that's the only reason I really do it. Because I found out other people have problems doing it. Yeah, so you're like, <laughs> fuck you, look at this, ha ha. Yeah. Why well, you gotta be such a blowhard about your abilities and such? Stuff. I have no abilities, so when I what find the something fuck I can ever? do... You go I'm there. not about to even... Yeah, I'm gonna fucking perfect this shit. No, I, I'm only good at like three things. That's it. Making lasagna. Yeah. Everyone who's talking about lasagna is like say it says it's like the best they've ever had in their life. What else? I don't want to say the other one's coming to mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, encrypt it with pig Latin. <laughs> no. Spell it out. Do it like we're uh, no. hiding it from people. <laughs> no. No, because people don't know how to fucking spell. <laughs> <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> Um, some some people some people do some people do they really the freaking amaze me watch, with their how idiotic they are. The people who watch this probably don't know how to spell. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? You hear that, board nation? You guys do not know how to spell. None of you. It's all a big lie. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, anyways. Back to what I was doing. Thunderwear to smile. I'm just going through and reading what I have down here. I'm just making my, I'm just making like. So we're gonna make a list, and then we're gonna sit and we're gonna talk about things, and we're gonna just give our personal views of it, and not hold anything back, right? I told you, my list is just there for. And you won't even, you won't even tell us your number two. You got number one, lasagna. You got that's two the only and thing three. I'm good at. Two and because three. Because the other one is something sexual that we're not going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> And what's the third one? I mean, is the third I don't one really something? Have a third one. Then why'd you say you I had three? I didn't expect you to ask what they were. <laughs> I was like, yeah, three. I'm coming up with 15. <laughs> There's gotta be something else that I'm fucking good at. Call of Duty. <laughs> Bam. Shabam. Shabam. I can play some fucking Call of Duty. Yeah. I can play Call of Duty. I'm good at that too. People piss me off. But I think I'm also good at other things. I'm gonna put them on my shout out to Jody's normie persona for being normal. Are you? Am I normal? Are you normal? No. Why not? Why would you wanna be? Exactly. <laughs> what? God, you made no fucking sense! <laughs> God, you make no fucking sense. Fuck you. I'm done listening to you. God. What the fuck? <laughs> what is 
is all this? Derek Collins. Irritated. Black Ops 2. Kneecaps? How could the kneecaps in a video game Have annoy you? Have you? No. Fuck. I wanted to, I mainly just wanted to ask you if you, I wanted to write this down to ask you if you've fucking seen that. No. Have you played through the Black Ops 2 fucking campaign? Most of it. Do you remember seeing the guy get his kneecaps shot? No. Like they're torturing him and he goes up and he blows the one kneecap up. Oh, and when he was in the desert? Her. No, they're in a fucking like cell or something. I don't know. Inside somewhere. He blows both of them out and it shows it. And like, oh. Oh my gosh. Like my knees hurt. It felt weird for like an hour after I watched that. And then he fucking slices his throat. It's graphic. That's a good game. I finally just finished it. I got I always play multiplayer when I get Call of Duty games. Exactly. You jump on, you're like, fuck that. I'm going out to the internet verse and shooting other yeah, little kids in the head. Yeah, that's the first thing I do. And, like, I finally got around to playing through the campaign, and that campaign is awesome. Stromboli. Whoa! I felt too many weird feelings go through my body in my life trying to fuck around with that shit. But they made a good point. They said, you know, they use other ways to try and get spirits to talk to them, like asking it questions, trying to get it to talk into a recorder and stuff. I wonder how old, like, the Ouija board actually is. Like, how, how long they I just think it's fucked up it? that it's marketed by fucking, like, Mattel. Wait, Milton Brett. Which one? A game it? company? Yeah, and it's put in the game aisle. I, Here, kids, play. Yeah, I had one when I was a have kid. Fun. I didn't have any idea what the fuck I was doing. I thought it was a game. <laughs> like, I can't believe they marketed it as a game for kids. Were you pushing it? Yeah, I never had it move on its own or anything. So you always pushed it, All right? Somebody did, yeah. Well. I just think somebody else was pushing it when I wasn't. That's the whole point of the Ouija board. But I, I do wonder how, like, how old is a fucking Ouija board? I don't know. How long have they been using that? As you a, hear that? That was the click of your pen I heard and the... No, I didn't click my pen, but the fucking things on the back of my jeans are falling off. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Yeah. Hey, seriously, my it's ass is just making more fucking rain. It's making it rain back there. <laughs> <laughs> my ass makes it rain. Sequins and shit. Mm. Shush. Don't yell. I'm sorry, I'm loud. If I can, you are. You, you need fucking good sound. You my door, go out the fucking door, to fucking pee in the wilderness. Oh, smash. <laughs> the pee in the wilderness. I call it Mother's Nature's bathroom. Mother's it's good Nature's? good for the dirt. <laughs> when I was a kid, we had little Caesars everywhere. Then they like disappear for years. Where the fuck did they go? See, we just had one in our fucking <clears throat> Kmart. We, we had them in our fucking Kmart too. Fucking Kmart people, man, I swear. I think place. Derek's on to something about Kmart. <laughs> you did say something about Kmart, didn't you? Yeah. But anyways, to me it seemed like little seizures disappeared for years, and all of a sudden about four or five years ago it popped up. Right? I mean, I started seeing the hot and ready and everything again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I remember I don't know, when I was in, when I lived in Tennessee, my God, that's all I fucking ate was $5 pizzas. And it's funny because I lived in a fucking apartment complex, and when you went down you threw your stuff in this gigantic fucking dumpster but it was just littered with fucking five dollar little caesar boxes because it was like a college town so all these college kids that's all they fucking ate they were everywhere oh yeah pizza it's got all the four five food groups dude, in it you, dude meat dairy that, vegetable yeah. and and bread yeah <laughs> and, and get it all five dollars you have your whole night's worth of food like you're good for one person yeah yeah exactly i lived eat. on my own when i was down there so most of the time. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how much a grocery bill will change? Like, I gotta feed. I gotta eat. You gotta eat. You can't go without food. Oh, or Red Bull. I can't go without my coffee. I can't go without my Red Bull. Is this free advertising? Can we get paid for this, Frank? <laughs> I'll 
do Don't give me that fucking look. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Not ladies anything. and gentlemen, let me t present to you Miss June, Cover Girl, Zombie Takeover TV. Nickname what? The Bear and I give her the nickname Miss Thang because she's she's Miss Thang. Why are you not paying me no. any attention? Nicknames. Nicknames. We haven't decided on my nickname yet. I know we I haven't. I need decided. something other than, other than Miss Sarah Stark. Because she doesn't have a zombie because takeover nickname. I have Samoan. I'm Samoan. You're Samoan. I'm a Samoan. I need I, something. I saw fucking Samoan so, recently. <laughs> I want people to leave comments with nickname suggestions. Got a purdy mouth, boy. Like, that's the fucking classic line you gotta have deliverance. There's gotta be better ones in there. What is deliverance about? I have no fucking clue. I'm not positive. I know it's got racial tensions and racial issues in it. I think as a colored person or a black man or a Negro or a nigger, <laughs> I should uh, probably watch that movie because it's like my history. It's like reading stuff about Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks. It's like, I don't know, do white people feel obliged to just like learn about that shit? No. As Caucasians. See, no. and I think it's weird, because I got two daughters, one who's clearly a brown person, clearly. And then I got my other daughter, who's, will pass for Caucasian or white or any day. Okay. They're gonna go through life totally different. I know they will, because shit. I almost got curved out because I was a brown person. But you're not black, right? Well, my mom's a ginger. Oh, like a white ginger, right? No. I've never seen a black ginger. <laughs> you ever seen a black ginger? That's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> she's a ginger and she's a brown person. She doesn't like to admit it. So your mom's a, a ginger. Yeah, dark. She's red, red skin now, but she's older. Red skin. Yeah, like her, her, like she's always sunburned. Looks like she's always sunburned. No, but is she like the pasty white, like nah, she's freckles? Never, and she's got red freckles hair. and red hair. Still a ginger. <laughs> I don't get it. Like I just love redheads so much. I'm like I don't, I don't get it. They're pasty with freckles. Freckles drive me nuts. 